what is good, man? It's your guy Tico, guys, and we are back with NBA 2K22 last gen, aka current gen updates today. And we're going to talk about patch 1.12 or patch 1.12. We have tons and tons of face scan updates, and we have so much. We have player likeness updates, WNBA likeness updates, updates that you guys have been waiting for. So I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Let's go ahead and get into the video right now. Let's go. And we're gonna go ahead and look at the NBA 2K22 current gen, AKA last gen patch. We have so many face scans in the game. I kinda wanna go over the patch notes uh, just a little bit to kinda go over and give you guys uh, some type of insight on what we know and what's going on in NBA 2K22 last gen, AKA current gen. So let's get into it right now. The first thing we're going to look at is the first parts that says general in these patch notes. Basically, it says preparations for NBA 2K22 Season 7 luncheon on Friday. And we all know that happens. The next bullet point says XP coin inventory will now properly update after receiving one from a quest reward without needing to re-enter my career. The following players and coaches have received new scans or had general likeness updates or tattoo updates made to them. So it says Derrick Rose, Jimmy Butler, Otto Porter, uh, TJ McConnell, Scary Terry Rose, Rosier, D'Angelo Russell, Jalen Brown, Jordan Poole, James Wiseman, Zeke Naji, Jaden McDaniels, uh, Jalen Green, Sam Hauser, Jose Alvarado, Aaron Henry, and more. All right, so it's a lot of people done, but we're going to go ahead and go into the game right now. I'm going to go ahead and get into it. So I've compiled a patch list and patch notes, a list of my own that I made all day yesterday. So if you look down in the description or if you look in the comment section, I'll go ahead and include that where when I'm going over the players, you'll get to read and see and follow with me to see exactly who was updated. So basically what we're going to do is go through the actual all players column and then we're going to figure out exactly who was updated. Now I did compile a list of what was updated on each player. So this breakdown is going to be a lengthy one, but it's going to be amazing. So we have Jose Alvarado finally got a face scan in the game, finally got the tattoo. So we're going to go ahead and click in edit player. And now look, we have the actual Jose Alvarado, and he had a great, great run with the Pelicans, man. This guy was different. He was just different. He was hungry, but if you look at his face, you do see the blemishes and the spots on his face. They do look real. They look identical to the actual next-gen version of NBA 2K22, but you do see him here. Um, baby hair, all of the above, bro, like it's here. The accessories aren't done. I actually made like my own rosters where you can go in and download those, and you can get the uh, actual updates for these players because I knew they were coming i haven't went live with him yet but this is it his tattoos are also here too so on the list it says uh jose alvarado pelicans complete likeness update just like next gen which I, I put that there so yeah man check it out you see the tattoos you see him in the game the long hang time on the braids and you know he's good to go right now you feel me so let's go ahead and get out of there and go to the next player we finally got an update of brandon boston jr for the los angeles clippers and he's finally in the game as you can see he has a whole head scan now i do see hair like kind of clipping off the side of his head which is kind of weird to me um but these are things that 2k can literally fix within this the next patch uh this is a good looking scan the face does look pretty dope you know what i'm saying it looks it looks pretty fire bro it looks just like the next gen version but the only thing is just the layers and like how things actually clip through certain things like the head the hair the headbands they literally clip real bad on the current gen version you can see the tattoo was updated as well and on my list i do have him uh updated to his complete likeness which he has the actual tattoo on top of his face and everything that's supposed to be from the next gen version all the way to the current gen version so brandon boston jr is here and we can go to the next guy we finally got Jalen Brown updated in NBA 2K22, old gen, last gen, whatever you want to call it, but we finally got Jalen Brown updated with the bigger beard. Now, the thing is, his hairstyle didn't change. It's still the short fade on the side. If you look, he still has like the taper or whatever, the low fade, mid or whatever you want to call it, but it's still an update when it comes to the face. Now, the face is actually a little bit more detailed. It's a direct transfer from the next gen to the current gen version of 2K, and his beard is a lot bigger than what it was before. So, uh, yeah, I am grateful and thankful to have him in the game. I do still play the last gen version, guys. So I do play both of them, but I do still play this one as well. So just having a game that's actually looking good and just finished and fixed, it's all about having fun, right? We just want a complete product where we can just enjoy it, man. We finally have an updated Jimmy Butler in NBA 2K22 last gen. And for all my current gen, last gen players, we finally got him here. Now, my biggest pet peeve with the Jimmy Butler is that his head, if you look at it, it's a little lighter at the top. It's actually kind of like 
not the same shade as the whole face. Maybe this is a real thing that he may have going on in real life, but from what I've seen on TV, I didn't see Jimmy Butler actually looking like this. Another pet peeve of mine is that it is a headband issue going on with Jimmy Butler. He actually wears a headband over his braids, his man bun, but literally I tried doing it yesterday and it was a glitch where I did get everything right with his accessories to be updated, but for some magical reason, it just won't stick. So hopefully 2K can see this video. I'll just make a video going over what's not right in NBA 2K22 with certain players that need to be updated. Just a, a dedicated video just to that so you guys can know and 2K can see it and we can get it fixed as soon as possible before the season is over until we get in 2K23. And look at Jimmy Butler, he's really dope. He looks like himself, his head is just really long. And I think it's because they needed to put the headband on him with some type of technology where they got to get it where it can fit right as far as like with the art. So, you know, it is what it is and it does look better. And I am thankful to have a Jimmy Butler that's new in the game. The braids do look good. Now let's go down. I kind of want to go a little bit deeper into in depth with Mr. 41 points right here. <laughs> go to Siggy's, go all the way down to the bottom. And now you get a closer look at Jimmy Butler. And this is the face right here. Now, like I said, you see the stripe up there. Uh, maybe it's like a discoloration that's going on with him due to him wearing headband so much so i don't know but this is him he is updated and was added via patch 1.12 so let's go to the next player right now and see who was updated and added to 2k this long overdue update devin kennedy from the orlando magic finally added to nba 2k 22 last gen and as you can see his face looks just like himself a pure port over from the next gen version to the current gen old school version or whatever you want to call it. i ain't gonna say old school Bruh. i'm not gonna do it like that i'm not gonna do that but anyway yeah check it out though we got devin kennedy looking like himself his hair everything is on point i i know he gets braided up a lot so i know that his last little render had braids this was via patch 1.12 and we did get a update version him the accessories and stuff like that are not up to par like for some reason i don't know why but it's never up to par this was a really huge update for faces in nba 2k22 for the older gen consoles uh, from patch 1.12 so let's go to the next player right now let's get it we finally have Justin Champagny in NBA 2K22, last gen, AKA current gen, and check it out right here, guys. The game is being filled out with more faces. As you can see, you look at this face, the textures and everything is just about right, and it's equal to the next gen version of NBA 2K22. Looking good. Don't wanna to spend too much time on him. I think you guys have seen him before, but uh, I know some of you like to get straight to the point, look at the scan and then get out, but I like to break these things down so you guys can see them and know exactly who was added and who was not, and you know, stuff like that. Needs to be done but here's justin champagne as you can see he's in generics all of a sudden everybody in generics again you know what i'm saying they got to get it right though the next player that was updated secretly in this update that's not on the patch notes was paul george if you look at paul george something is different about this paul george it's a little bit more detailed to this paul george and the beard is a lot more detailed if you look at it it's kind of just sticking out it's layered different it's a little thicker than what it was before in the previous version with Paul George. Now, Paul George has been updated two or three times in 2K22 just all around for both gens. But this Paul George right here has a thicker beard, a little bit more detail to the face, and it looks a lot better than what it did before. But Paul George is updated secretly in here in this patch, and I just don't know what was going on with that. So let's go to the next player. As you know, Jalen Green was updated in the next gen version, but now he's updated in the current gen version via patch 1.12. So if you look at Jalen Green right now, he looks pretty dope. Uh, you can tell by the facial hair that the face was updated because they kept tweaking him on the next gen version, but he's been tweaked equally to what the next gen version is doing in this current gen version via this patch 1.12. So if you look at him, he is there. He did get tattoos as well. So if we go to the body, you can see on the leg on the right side, he got the tattoos with the 559 and all of the detail uh, on his hands too, the peace sign. And you can also see he had the number four and other things uh, on his actual hands. So tattoos, likeness updates and everything were updated with this Jalen Green for the Rockets. And uh, yeah, you can see it. I, I ain't got to sit here and try to even persuade you fam he did it and this is him and let's go ahead and get an up close look he does have the hair tech too as well the dynamic hair update he has that it's included because if you move you see it moving like check it out it's crazy look at that the face expressions pretty dope let's go to the next guy let's not waste too much time 
We also got Josh Hall updated in this update from patch 1.12. As you can see, he has the face, he has the hair. Doesn't look as good as the next gen version as far as textures, but it does look good. It does look just like the identical face. And if you are still on last gen consoles and having the trouble getting the next gen console, you should be pretty happy. It's because of the fact that we're still getting updates in 2K and they don't have to really do this, but they're doing it because, you know, 2K finally, you know, doing their thing up in here. You feel me? So this doesn't look bad though. This looks really great. And if you look at the beard, you can see the textures and the layers of on the face of this guy. And it's pretty dope. Let's go ahead and go down to accessories and all that now his tattoos were added as well within the complete likeness update it's a whole complete finished likeness update with this guy right here man check him out look at that josh hall got them he got the nipsey hustle with the flags on his arm bro like that's crazy look at that just so much detail but the 2k shoes get me Bruh. the 2k shoes get me Bruh. but let's go ahead and go to the next player he's a free agent by the way he's not on the team let's go to the next player though the next player that we got updated in NBA 2K22 current gen last gen, whatever you want to call it, is Sam Hauser from the Boston Celtics. Now, the Celtics right now, we know that they are really trending and they're a trending topic in the basketball community, in the NBA, and in news. So with that being said, you can see Mr. Hauser has a new face scan, has everything that he needs to have uh, in this. As you can see, it looks pretty good from the side angle. You can look at it and tell. Let's go down to the shoes and gear and look at his gear. And of course, his gear is going to be the 2K shoes. I thinking that the 2k team just needed to get these scans in the game and they dropped a huge bulk and they run out of time because they're working on nba 2k 23 so we just got the 2k shoes and we just have to go in and fix it ourselves right but i'm so thankful to actually get updates still this deep in the cycle of 2k 22 because we're getting seasons and when we get seasons we get updates as you can know it's kind of one of those things that you can kind of pinpoint when you know 2k is going to update the game with new things so i'm looking for that and this doesn't look bad sam hauser does not look bad at all looks pretty good uh yeah let's go to the next player we got mr aaron henry that was updated in patch 1.12 and as you can see his textures and his layers and everything on his face looks just like the next gen version this is one of my higher rated uh actual scans in the game um yeah it was cool when he played for the Sixers, but he's a free agent right now and if you go down to the siggies we're going to click back and look at the detail go all the way down to chew gum and we get the close-up of him and if you look at this face doesn't look bad don't have, really have no hair clipping don't really have anything uh that looks really crazy but it looks good and it is in the game and i wanted to go over that for you guys the dunk face as you can see i'm starting to see a trend that most of the new updated players have the 2k shoes and that's fine like i said because they had a lot to do. They have a lot on their plates to actually be working with two different gens. Like I said, the Movado team in California for next gen and the Texas team, the dev team in Texas is working on the old gen, last gen version. So as you can see, Aaron Henry updated in 2K. That's more we can do and more we can have for our game. So let's get it. Let's go to the next player though. Nashawn bones highland finally updated with the hair technology I mean, he was already updated in the game don't get it twisted but tattoos the hair technology the dynamic hair update the whole nine so everything transferred from next gen to the current gen old gen version is here as you can see look at the face it already looked good when i did my last video it already looked good but to go in and just make those minor touch-ups to get everything right let's go ahead and go to shoes and gear as you can see tattoos all over the arms Yes, sir, on the shoulders. Things are looking intact in the way that they need to look on Bones Highland, bro. I'm telling you right now, look at the back. That's crazy, that's crazy, that's crazy. To see if the dynamic hair update literally hit Nashawn Bone Highlands, if you go up, you see moving hair, boom. We're in there like swimwear, right? Check it out, the sides of the face. This is good stuff. The hair is moving, we're in there. Let's go to the next player though, let's get it. Now we have Kyrie Irving, which everybody talked about the Kyrie Irving. I made so many videos talking about Kyrie Irving and how he needed to be updated with his fro because the last time he was playing on the NBA court in the playoffs, he had the fro. But if you go to Kyrie's interviews, his hair is short again. So this is the thing with me with the whole Kyrie Irving hiatus. Yes, he was on the court playing with the fro with Kevin Durant in the playoffs versus the Celtics, right? But the situation is with me is now his hair is just like this. 
his hair is just like this. His hair is the same hairstyle. I mean, does so my question is, does 2K need to change this back to the fro for the last gen version or do they need to leave it this way? I'll throw a picture on the screen of Kyrie right now in the interview with, what's his name? Shady McCoy or whatever. You can see it and you can see Kyrie with the short hair do. Even when he was streaming on his Instagram, his hair is short. Yeah, and this hat is even Kyrie expired. Kobe, yeah. Kyrie expired by the way, he just had to. Throw that in there. Yeah. Bruh. I don't even really know what to do about Kyrie as far as this update. Now, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know if you want Kyrie back with the fro. I want Kyrie back with the fro simply because of the fact that he did hoop. His identity on the court was with an afro. So that's exactly what I need 2K to do with Kyrie to get him back to himself. I still got a version of 2K with the fro for last year, so I ain't tripping. Bruh. Kyrie was not updated, and I wanted to bring that to everyone's attention because I didn't need any surprises. And nobody saying, hey, what about Kyrie? What about LeBron James? I don't know. Next player we're going to look at is LeBron James. Now, LeBron James had some attention shaded on him. I think it was la it was actually last week when they talked about LeBron James. And basically with LeBron, he got the headband removed. His face is the real face with the beard, but the beard ain't here yet. And I still have a lot of faith in 2K that they will hit us with an update to fix the Kyrie, LeBron, and like the hair situations with the layer bugs uh, really soon. They just probably wanted to get all these face scans in and fill the game up first and fix and patch up everything before the new 2K23 hits. People are still going to be playing NBA 2K until 2K23 drops, right? So with that being said, guys, it's free on Game Pass too, so I know a lot of Xbox people are gonna be playing it, but LeBron James, and let's get back to the subject. LeBron James was not updated, but his headband was removed last week, so I do know that they do see this. 2K sees this, I submitted it to Stax Montana, AKA one of the managers for 2K. I know it's something that they know about. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention in this video because I know how people talk about stuff in the comments, don't get this far in the video, and wanna talk about what's not fixed. I'm gonna address it, and it's addressed, and boom. Let's go to the next player, though. We got our guy Isaiah Joe that was updated in NBA 2K22 last gen via patch 1.12, and look at the quality of this scan. Now, every scan does not look like this. This from the skin tone to where the hair is looking to the quality of the actual scan looking like a real person. This is a direct scan. And if you look at the pores and pock marks, it looks just like the one from Next Gen. This looks great. This looks really good. Actually, this one kind of look better than the Next Gen version, to be honest with me. Bruh. To be honest with me. Bruh. That's just my opinion, though. Don't get mad at me. But <laughs> don't get mad at me about that. But this looks better. This looks so realistic to me, bro. Look at the sides. Look at the other side. Yeah, this is dope. Let's go to shoes and accessories. And he actually has accessories on, which is very surprising he didn't even have on the 2k um shoes he has on like ad like kobe's like mamba you know what i'm saying he's good but yeah he's good he's done let's go to the next player okay so now we have david johnson and look at this face scan not a bad face scan not a bad likeness update looks really dope you see all of his marks on his face this is pretty phenomenal man has the shaving bumps this looks really good. This is dope. This is another one of my top faces in this patch that actually looks good. The hair is not clipping or doing anything weird. Uh, this was a good port from Next Gen. As you can see, he is rocking the old trusty 2K sneakers, but it's okay, because we got more scans. Check them out, though. The body doesn't look bad, and we have a filler for a fake face. I'm always happy, and I'm always thankful for a filler instead of a fake face, so shout out to 2K for that. Let's talk about this Romeo Langford. Um, I think my biggest beef with this, now this was not an update, but as I'm looking at this, if we really can't change him, I think like leaving the headband on him would be like better because of his hair. Like if you see this big patch right here on the side, it's just really kind of crazy looking. So I normally, in my version of 2K, uh, as far as for my rosters, I normally put the headband back on him so he can look you know, a little bit more presentable instead of having like the ghost effect uh, on the top of his head. And, and 2K probably will get to that. Now, in real life, this guy does not wear a headband. He stopped wearing the headband. So that's probably why 2K literally don't have a headband on him and didn't fix it. But I mean, just for the sake of an art, like kind of visual uh, aesthetic, I would literally put the headband back on him just to kind of make it look good. But if we could get a new scan of Romeo Langford, since he wasn't really updated and fixed in this one, that'd be dope too. But like I said, 2K23 is right around the corner. Now we have Isaiah Livers was updated via patch 1.12 for the Detroit Pistons in NBA 2K22 last gen, aka current gen, whatever you want to call it. But check it out. Look at him finally in the game. Now I do see 
uh, the top of his hair is kind of like cut off. If you look at it from the side, it's like cut. And maybe his hair is clipping inside. Cause like, if you look, well maybe it's just in this screen. Because if you play with him on the game, it don't look like that. But yeah, he's updated. He was added, as you can see. Tattoos and everything updated, man. I mean, they got it on point. You got the calf, they got the cross on the leg. They have the arm sleeve on the arm. I mean, the beard, everything is on point. Let's get out of this and go back to the close-ups. And as you can see, the face is really good. Like, we really don't have any face issues with him, uh, any clipping issues, just the hair, like, right up here over the top of the head. I'm pretty sure the next version of NBA 2K22 for the last-gen consoles probably will be really dope because I had that time in development to go back and just fix things they need to fix. Teo. Maladon. I've been hearing the freaking people from the comment section talk about Teo and how they want him to be updated. A lot of fans out here like this guy and he is finally updated via patch 1.12 in NBA 2K22 last gen aka slash current gen and we are good to go. We finally got him and he looks great. He looks great. Um, yeah, this looks good. This looks just like next gen. This looks just like next gen. I literally don't see any issues with this, man. Like, I literally don't see no problems. I just see the face from the actual next gen version. It looks good. It looks good, bro. I am happy he's in the game. Uh, as far as 2K sneakers, he's been having those. He's been rocking them 2K sneakers since, like, last year. We have TJ McConnell with a brand new face scan. Not a bad looking face scan, looks really good. The textures actually look good. Now the mustache has is kind of artsy look, but as far as the game, it looks really good to me. I do like it and the eyes, man, like this really stands out and it really looks much better than it did before. Direct ports from current gen coming into last gen don't look too bad. So let's go to shoes and gear and let's look at the body. And yeah, it's just something you want to see. It's not really anything special other than a new face scan and some touch ups, but just having a new realistic looking model in the game really helps out the experience of the game. So let's go ahead and go to the next player right now. Let's get it. We have Jaden Mac Daniels with a face scan touch up. Look at the face, look at how much quality it has. If you look at it, you can just really tell that things were touched up as far as like how the pores stick out and everything just stands out, bro. And I'm just, I'm, I'm happy to have this, but one thing about him is he got tattoos as well. So he was double updated. He was updated twice. You know what I'm talking about? Two times, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, he was updated. Look at the leg, look at the shoulder, look at the sleeve, look at the hand. So many things updated with this guy. Uh, 2K shoes, not updated, but what I'll do is I'll go back and probably just update all the players that were updated in the player likeness updates previously over the summer. And let's just see how it comes out. And if y'all support the videos, hit the like button. I'm definitely gonna continue to do it so we can continue to keep this cycle going. Let's go to the next player though. We have a Miles McBride sighting for the New York Knicks. Patch 1.12 added this guy Miles McBride to NBA 2K22 last gen, aka current gen. And you can see this looks phenomenal when it comes to like his pock marks and his face. It looks just like him. You can look at the shape the goatee, everything, bro, it looks amazing. I'm staying positive and keeping a bunch of hope that 2K can continue to drop the rest of the face scans from the next gen version into the old current gen version, and we're gonna be good to go. You gotta be thankful you're getting faces, especially if you got the last gen consoles, but this don't look bad at all. I do like it. I do see like that layer of hair, like that, that layer of hair, I pray it don't get glitched. Let's just pray to God that this little hair on the top from the fade don't get glitched. But anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and go to the next player and look and see who was updated via patch 1.12. Let's get it. We have the guy, Sean McDermott. Now, basically what happened with him was a face scan, touch up and tattoo. So basically you go in and look at it and he is completely fixed. He's completely updated. He is ready. And you look at the arm, he has the sleeve, the shoulder, even the chest tattoo with the cursive writing on it, which is amazing. And shout out to 2K for getting him done. His scan looks really good compared to a lot of other scans. If you look at it, it's so much detail within his face. You can see the wrinkles on his forehead, which is pretty dope too as well. Yeah, look at him in motion, bro. Like, yeah, this looks great. Let's go to the next player though. Oh yeah, he's a free agent, but let's go to the next player though. We have an updated Aaron Neesmith. Um, the funny thing about this is that his scar under his right eye, from the way from the way I'm looking at it, is there. Like it's standing out more than what it was before in the previous version. Something that's subtle would be a general likeness update. It wouldn't be anything crazy, but if you look and pay attention to these, because I'm in this thing every day, you see that scar under his right eye. 
and it's really out there where you can see it, bro. Like versus normally how it would look before. This wasn't there. This doesn't look bad at all. This looks amazing. Uh, shout out to 2K for going in with the attention to detail, bro. But let's go to the next player and see who's next. Let's get it. Zeke Najee, finally updated in NBA 2K22. Last gen, AKA current gen, bro. Look at this face. Look at the quality and look at the pores and the marks, the scan. Look at the face scan on this face right here, bro. This is pretty freaking good right here, man. Like to, just to see it. And when I'm playing my career, I do like to see the real faces in the game and stuff up to date when I'm playing my career on here, man. And this is gonna be great to play against the Nuggets to see him, even though he's not a superstar. But just to have them right is just a huge situation. Let's go to the body real quick and look at it. Uh, yeah, same as same as the next gen version, bro. Same as the the Xbox Series and the PS5, bro. Uh, let's go to the next player. Finally, Bruh. the Rock. Ha no, I'm just playing. Jordan Poole was added via patch 1.12. I said it in my most wanted video before. I predicted it, and he was added. And check him out. He is finally in the last gen, aka current gen version of 2K22 via patch 1.12. And look at how great this looks. You guys have been bugging. You guys have been asking in the comment section about this guy. And he is finally here. And he is finally updated. They got the accessories right too with the Colby's, bro. Like, you know, you got to get it right with the Colby's. They got it right. I think they almost got it almost right 100% because I think it's short, so just a little bit shorter if we're going to do by attention to detail. But 2K did their thing with this. A direct port from the next gen to the current gen version or the old school version or whatever you want to call it, bro. But check it out. We finally got him in the game. Let's go to the next player, folks. Let's get it. Otto Porter was updated in 2K22 current gen, aka last gen. Bruh, finally, brand new face. Brand new touch-ups, short hairstyle, but you go to shoes and gear and look at the body part of it, and he is in the generics, but he, I think he rocking Jordans too, by the way. The shoes he rocked, they're not in the game yet. Hopefully we get some more sneaker updates, but yeah, we got a new auto porter, and yeah, we just gonna have to deal with that, but we do got a new one, and the Warriors are up there in the playoffs, and the, I don't even know if the same, I think it's the Western Conference. Yes, versus the Mavericks, bro, like, it's crazy. We finally got him, shout out to 2K for that. We got... Paul Reed in the game. Now he's not somebody like Michael Jordan or Reggie Miller or Charles Barkley, but we do got Paul Reed. We do got a face scan via patch 1.12 and look at him right here. He's really looking pretty dope for uh, this to be transferred from the next gen version to the current gen version. It's amazing because this face is literally his face. Like this is him and it looks dope. Now if we go to body, we do see tattoos on that shoulder on the right side from where we see it, the praying hands and stuff like that which is dope. And uh, I'm pretty satisfied with this Paul Reed. Let's go to the next player. We finally got Derrick Rose in the game. Now my most wanted video I put out last week or the week before, you get to see Derrick Rose updated from the next gen version with the hair. And the dynamic hair update was actually on him in the last update as far as the next gen version, but now the current gen version, old school last gen version has that update as you can see. New face, which the face is still the same, but it was touched up. Um, it looks good and it was updated. Now, if we go down to Siggy's and look right here, go up, the hair is moving. So we do have the dynamic hair update with the face touch-ups and et cetera with a brand new, crazy, better looking Derrick Rose in the game. And I'm happy because now everybody gets to play with the new updated Derrick Rose and his shoes in the game too from the last update. So we are good to go. Let's go to the next player though, seriously, let's get it. Scary Terry Rosier is in the game, fam. But I know y'all know he in the game. <laughs> My bad. Scary Terry did get an update. Now, the thing with Scary Terry is he got tattoo updates and touch-ups, right? So if we go to shoes and gear, as you can see, he is really tatted up from the neck all the way to the arms, all the way to the other arm, all the way to just the Look at this, bro. Like, this is crazy. Egyptian stuff. Uh, I did have, I do have an updated version of Scary Terry uh, for like the last gen version. So his accessories will be up to date and everything will look great. And his hair needs to be updated in real life. But 2K23 may take care of that situation. But we got Scary Terry. 1.12 via patch 1.12 so let's go to the next player d'angelo russell was updated now we know d'lo has different hair 
But the thing that was updated on d from the next gen version as well was the tattoos. And if you go down to accessories and look at the hand, if you look at the sleeve, if you look all the way from the shoulder all the way down to the hand, you will see that his tattoos were updated on him as well. The leg and the shoulder and everything is just really up to speed and up to par with D'Angelo Russell. Now, hopefully they can go ahead and implement D'Angelo Russell's actual brand new hairstyle in both versions of 2K, the last gen and current, because I always get them both. I always get both of them because I cover both of them on the channel and it's like, I like 2K that much to actually play on both. But D'Angelo Russell was updated. Let's go out of here. Nothing with his face, um, but he does need to be updated. So if they do scan, we will see a new D'Angelo Russell. And Ant-Man too, they need to go ahead and hit the Timberwolves and actually just rescan the whole team. And we're gonna be good and Cat too. But let's go to the next player. We have Jericho Sims updated for the New York Knicks via patch 1.12 and NBA 2K22 last gen, current gen, whatever you wanna call it, but look at him, man. We got a face, we literally got a face, we literally got detail, we literally got some stuff that really needs to be, and needed to be squared away. And uh, we're good to go, bro. Like we're doing really well. This is a lot of scans. I think there's like over 36 scans. Let's go to the body real quick. Nothing special with his accessories, nothing like that. We didn't get that, but we did get the face. So we can always go back in and fix that. But let's just go to the next player. Let's get it. We got Lamar Stevens updated in NBA 2K22 last gen via patch 1.12. And as you can see, this face is dope. I mean, this is really good thinking to the point that they got this little mark right here on his face. The, like It's like some type of blemish or some type of like mark he had or whatever, but it does look good. It looks like him. This is how he looks. I think his hair is different though, if I'm not mistaken in real life. I gotta check that out. But yeah, this looks pretty, pretty dope. Pretty almost like spot on. Tattoos, can't forget about the tats. All the tats on the leg, all the tats inside the arms, on the forearms, yeah. This guy is ready. Uh, Lamar Stevens, Cleveland Cavaliers. Let's go to the next player. He was updated. Let's go to the next guy. I was just looking at Broderick Thomas last night on the bench for the Celtics when they played Miami, and his hair is different now. He actually has like faded hair on the sides, and he has curly hair on the top, kind of like a box, but like curly with like a fade, a drop fade, right? So this is uh, him though in NBA 2K22 via patch 1.12, and it looks exactly identical to him. The hair is just different now. He does not rock the long hair anymore, but he is in the game, and shout out to 2K for even getting him in the game, period. This is him. He wears different stuff. I've already updated him next gen version of the game but this is him let's go to the next guy Trendon Watford finally is updated transferred from the next gen version to this version of 2k and the thing about it is it looks exactly like that version it does fit this version of the game oh and then you look at this the, the whole discoloration situation you can literally see it, it looks really good they got that right um the thing that I was kind of uh, thinking about with him before is that his hair didn't move. Now, if you go to Siggy's and look at this guy, you don't see hair moving. So the hair technology is not here yet with him, but I'm pretty sure they just did that to get him in the game. And because this hair definitely is supposed to move, especially how thick it is and, and the way it looks. But as far as from a standpoint of a good scan, this is a really good scan. I'm not mad at it. I think it's dope. And I'm thinking 2K for actually getting these into the game. We finally got James Wiseman in the freaking game, bro. Like, like rookies that you think would have got updated with Ant-Man. Ant-Man didn't even get the update, but James Wiseman got the update before Ant-Man. I'm pretty sure 2K may be sitting on an Ant-Man update and just hadn't did it yet and waiting and saving it for the NBA 2K23. Um, but yeah, he was transferred over and I'm just excited that he was in it. But we do have Wiseman. Let's go ahead and go to the body real quick, as you can see. Uh, this is him. This looks good. Good transport. Good port over right from the next gen version. So let's go to the next player though. Omar Yurtsevin, finally updated in 2K, comes from the next gen version into the current gen version or the old gen version. But he is in the game. The face does look really good. He does fit the world of 2K in his current gen, old school version. Let's go to shoes and gear just to look at the body. Um, if you look at this, this doesn't look bad at all. It looks really good, fits the element. And that is it. Now I will be back like, to spotlight a lot of this stuff. Now this is a video just to let you know who was in it. 
who was in the patch notes and who wasn't in the patch notes and who was updated and who wasn't updated that were high demand players that people in the community wanted so with that being said guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel join the current gen next gen and retro gen g's it's only free to do so don't forget to hit the notification bell don't forget to hit the notification bell stay notified when videos come out also guys don't forget to follow me on twitter at tico's decor to keep up the latest and greatest updates you need to know when this stuff drops i always update people real time on twitter and hit the like button it helps us a lot in the youtube algorithm to continue to grow so if you like this type of content subscribe i put a lot of work into it one hour one hour i say if you get it let me do it anyway man i'm going to let you guys go i gotta go to the WNBA video i got wwe stuff i gotta do you know what i'm saying it's your boy tico bro i'm out peace